are at Blackburn Cathedral. There's the big tumour that they've added to the side of it for some reason. And we come around here, if you remember a video of mine called Blackburn Gunageddon, <laughs> the NHS testing centre is now the NHS vaccine centre. And it says there, in blue and yellow, let's try and do a little zoom in for you guys. First and second dose of Pfizer and AstraZeneca available here. What a lovely place. It's basically 10.30 on a bank holiday weekend, prime hours. You'd think people would be out and about and just like every other uh, vaccine centre here in the UK, it's just a lot of taxpayers' money to pay for the staff and the G4S security and it's just a lot of, a lot of hassle and money that uh, we, the taxpayers, are footing the bill. And guess who makes the profits? Pfizer and AstraZeneca. So there's, there's no, um, what's the word? Um, there's no competing interests. There's no conflict of interests in having profit-making, massive profit-making corporations, also helping the government um, give out propaganda to get people to do um, vaccines. What a shame. It's clown world, classic clown world. So you go in the front, you'd think this was some sort of medical tent. No, it's a security bag check tent. And then you, um, you come through and you go through these like military, military pop-up tents, or maybe Arctic, Antarctica expedition pop-up tents. And then you go through the first one, you go through the second one, and you end up in some other room around the side where you get your vaccine. In fact, I think it's in the cathedral. Let's go in and investigate if it's actually in the cathedral. Yeah, it's quite esoteric. You go through your pop-up ET phone home, men in white coats. Let's analyze this alien and then it goes into the church, into the church. And that's where you get your, your holy communion for the new religion, which has uh, profit-making scientists as priests. It's got your public controllers, it's got everything. And the fact that you get your clot shot in the church is pretty impressive from a propaganda point of view. And we're all watched over by Queen Victoria. They've not cleaned her statue. You find the Queen Victoria statues in the north of England are always filthy. The uh, labor-controlled councils do that on purpose. It's very sad. All statues should be cleaned. It doesn't matter what you think. I mean, Jesus. And like, in case you're all wondering, when, when was the Victorian era? Well, there's her Victorian era. I think that was how long she ruled for. I think she's lived older than that. She wasn't just 60. 60 whatever it is for when she died. I think she was older than that. Sorry. No. Yeah, 60. No Anywho Get your clock shot Spanish flu was so much more deadly so much more dangerous than the Chinese coffin sneeze after three waves between 1918 and 1921, the Spanish flu disappeared on its own, just vanished. No vaccine, no passports, it just disappeared. This was a virus that killed so many more people than COVID-19, maybe a hundred million more at this stage. Good morning, everybody. It's the last day of August, August 31st, 2021. I believe it's a Tuesday. Wasn't it a Tuesday when 9-11, that's up 20 years ago almost to the day. Anyway, behind me, Salford City Council with the tents. They're going into the Unitarian Church. It says, get your COVID-19 vaccine. I'm going to get demonetized now. I said that in the first 30 seconds. Oh, shit. So, this is a stand down order. This is a calm the fuck down, everybody. Seeing footage at a Newcastle police truncheoning the public, but without context, you know, someone who was there wrote to me, a guy on the megaphone telling people dressed in black to attack the police, police on horses getting truncheony. You've got these uh, 
massive protest. You're going to the BBC, Channel 4, ITV, giving Jon Snow a hard time, which is fair enough. I'd give Jon Snow a hard time. There was a scene outside the UK Parliament about three years ago. Massive sea of people, big scene, thousands of people. And Jon Snow, the Channel 4 uh, presenter, old guy, likes his colourful ties. He goes, oh, over to you in the studio, because I've never seen so many white faces in one place. Implying, implying, old Jon Snow from Channel 4, that a bunch of white faces together is somehow bad or racist or the opposite of diversity. <gasps> so this is a stand down. Don't want to see anti-vaxxers fighting with police. Don't want to see journalists. Who the fuck reads that shit anyway? Walk away. Don't want to see journalists fearing for their lives. What is it? The, the Lud Ludenpressen. What do the Nazis call it? The degenerate media. They probably called it Judenpressen, but I'm, I'm not allowed to say that in English. Fucking Nazis. So, um, for me, there was a moment about a month ago I had to delete the videos. I had two amazing videos. One where I was holding my forged vaccine certificates, AstraZeneca times two on both of them. I did some research. I had to delete the videos because someone was flagging my videos and I was getting done for medical misinformation. <laughs> Uh, makes a change from getting done for scientific misinformation for saying God is real. Um, I read the government websites. You're exempt from the vaccine. You're exempt from the COVID passport. You're exempt from door staff saying you have to have it before you're allowed. You're exempt for life. For life. It suddenly it dawned on me, the watershed moment, that the entirety of the COVID regulations in the United Kingdom doesn't really stack up legally. And um, it's done in an emergency to save the grannies. You're going to say something to me? You're going to stare? You're going to stare at me? Yeah, 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 yeah. You get the look. We're in Monton, quite a middle class posh area. A guy stood there filming himself talking. Must be insane. How dare he stand out? Where was I? Can't even remember where I was. Just saying, look, chill the fuck out. You know the Daily Mail, especially the Daily Mirror, the Sun. They're coming up with this Hegelian dialectic between the civilized British community, community minded masses and the dangerous hooligan, violent, anti-science, anti-vaccine. These people want kids to die of polio, etc., etc. This is how the media are painting you guys. So my advice is stand down, walk away. Don't want the vaccine? Walk away. Don't want the COVID passport? Walk away, you're exempt. You don't have to, like, you don't want to go in a supermarket like in France where they're saying you got to show your sheep dip papers? Buy your groceries online. Walk away, it's all going to die down. It's just, I don't want to get associated with it. It is a bit cringe. You have a valid point in that you can't terrify the public to take medication. I agree with that. But attacking police horses drunkenly attacking people in the city centre, making these fucking pathetic journalists, and they are pathetic, but making office workers scared for their lives? Nah, it's not the way we do things anymore. I've got an appointment, I've got to go. It's Charlie Beach and Monton Test Centre. See you soon.